Renowned preacher George W. Truett was invited to dine at the mansion of a very wealthy man. After the meal, the host took him to a place where they could get a good view of the surroundings. Pointing to the oil wells dotting the landscape, he boasted, as far as your eyes can see, it's all mine. Looking in the opposite direction, where his grain fields bloomed, he said, all that is mine. Turning east toward huge herds of cattle, he boasted, they're all mine. Then, pointing to the west in a beautiful forest, he exclaimed, this is all mine too. He paused, expecting Pastor Truett to praise him. Placing one hand on the man's shoulder and pointing to the sky with the other, Pastor Truett simply said, how much do you have in that direction? The man lowered his head and confessed, I never thought of that. Command those who are rich in this present age, says Paul, not to be haughty, nor to trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy. Let them do good that they be rich in good works, ready to give, willing to share. Ellen G. White says, Satan uses worldly treasure to ensnare, deceive, and delude souls to accomplish their ruin. God has given directions as to how they are to appropriate his goods in relieving the wants of suffering humanity, in advancing his cause, in building up his kingdom in the world, in sending missionaries into regions beyond, in disseminating the knowledge of Christ in all parts of the world. By being generous to others and by regularly returning God's tithes and promise, we tell ourselves and spiritual beings that our possessions do not own us. Those possessions must be considered evidence of God's work in our lives and not of our ability to hoard resources. As we return our tithe and promise offerings, may we put our desires last and God first.